Hello friends, today we are going to learn the details about Dr. Faustus, which is extremely important play from the examination point of view. Before we go into the story of Dr. Faustus, let us talk about its, its Greek mythological connection as well. Okay, so let's start. Here, Faustus' tale is linked with Greek mythology and here in Greek mythology we find Icarus, okay, Icarus and his father created wings. The wings were of feather and wax, okay, and this was made in order to escape out of Creta. This is island, okay, this is 88th greatest island of the world and it is in Germany, okay. so. Father and son, they started their journey, but father had instructed him not to fly too low because the feather might get uh, water of the sea. Okay, it might get soaked and it will become heavy and they won't be able to fly. Next, not to fly too close to the sun because the wings are made up of wax. It might get melted, but Karis ignores father's instruction and he goes closer to the sun. His feather gets melted and he gets drawn into the sea and eventually he dies. Okay, so this is the connection with Dr. Faustus. Now, what is there in the story of Faustus? Dr. Faustus, let us find out. Friends, Dr. Faustus was written by Christopher Marlowe and he belongs to 16th century. He is contemporary to William Shakespeare as well. Okay. The full name of Dr. Faustus is Dr. John Faustus. And the original name of the play is The Tragical History of the Life and Death of Dr. Faustus. And this is based on German folklore, which I have already discussed. It is an Elizabethan play because during this period, they used to discuss the uh, the problem of magic liberation and damnations were discussed in the country okay now we let's move towards the the journal of the play okay it belongs to morality play and the themes are knowledge and power influence of absolute power and then the divided nature of man okay in the first theme we find the knowledge that we have it should be utilized in a positive way and the power we have or we gain, it should be utilized positively, okay? In, in the influence of power, we should not be corrupt. We should not be self-centered. That is the message that we receive. The divided nature of man. Uh, see friends, human beings are having both the qualities, good and bad. Nobody can be declared as totally white or totally black. black. Because our emotion changes, with the situation, our views and perspective also changes, right? Therefore, here we find dilemma of human mind, okay? Let's move ahead. This play is in five acts, okay? Let's go towards the summary now. In the summary, we find Dr. Faustus, who is an ambitious German scholar in Wittenberg German University. Okay, and he is the protagonist of the play as well. Here we find Dr. Faustus, who was extremely learned person. Okay, he had become unsatisfied with mundane subjects. He wanted more knowledge. He wanted to read more. He did not uh, get satisfied with theology, law, science, etc. Okay, now he wants to do something extra. Now, this necromancy was the, was something which he did not try yet. So, Dr. Faustus wants to learn necromancy or black magic. For that purpose, he calls his servant Wagner. Okay, Wagner comes and uh, Dr. Faustus instructs him to summon or call his two best friends, Vals and Cornelius. Okay, now why these two friends? Why not anyone else? It is because Vals was a witchcrafter and Cornelius was a magician. Okay, now he wanted to learn from these two friends about necromancy or black magic. Okay, let's move ahead. At that point of time, when he was about to start with black magic learning, good angel and bad angel appears. Okay, they want, especially good angel wants to warn him about the 
consequences of his act. But Bad Angel persuades him. She convinces him and he continues with the task. Vals and Cornelius also speaks about power that he will get with ma black magic. Here we find always negative or bad virtues persuade us. It is upon us whether we are going to stand with that or we are going to take up good values. Okay. Now, Dr. Foster's begins his uh, necromancy and then he starts to call a demon. Okay. With all the arrangements. Now, David, devil Mephistopheles appears and by look he was so hideous. Okay. He could not tolerate. Dr. Faustus could not tolerate his face. Therefore, he commands him to change his appearance. And so, this devil does. Alright. Then, he says that he becomes very happy. Dr. Faustus becomes very happy that he, he is listening. Mephistopheles is listening to him. He becomes very proud. But, he says, Metrophilus says that it is not because of his skill that he has changed his appearance. But, because of his powers okay and because of lucifer he is able to gain powers and not from him then we see dr Faustus tries to bind him to service dr Faustus wants mephistopheles a devil to work for him but he totally denies he says for doing that he requires permission from his devil master that is lucifer he is also called prince of devils okay and he is the one lucifer is the one to monitor all the activities of Mephistopheles. Okay, Mephistopheles introduces him um, to Lucifer, who is he and what kind of power he has, and then Dr. Faustus becomes aware. Then Dr. Faustus says that Mephistopheles convey a message to Lucifer that Dr. Faustus is ready to give his soul if he will agree with his terms and conditions. Okay, now Mephistopheles goes back to Lucifer and tells the desire of Dr. Faustus that he wants to sign, he wants to have Mephistopheles as his servant. For that, he is ready to give his soul. Now, Mephistopheles discusses about hell at that point of time. He says that what is the condition of hell? And it, he says it does not have any limit. And people and the souls rather who comes in this hell, they suffer a lot. Okay, Dr. Faustus signs a pact or the contract okay now according to the contract mephistopheles will be servant to dr faustus and 24 years of life uh, will be given to dr faustus okay where he will be given magical powers he will be given a servant mephistopheles okay and who will have magical powers and um, over this over this power dr faustus will have full command Whatever he wish, he can make Mephistopheles do. So, this was the pact and he is ready for that because it is handsome contract right now for Dr. Faustus. But let us see what happens next. Dr. Faustus further said, after 24 years, Dr. Faustus will surrender body and soul to Lucifer. And contract to be signed with Dr. Faustus' blood. Okay. And for this he had to take out uh, knife and cut his arm while doing so blood clots okay he is not able to sign the pact and this was sign of god to avoid this pact but dr Faustus avoids it okay and uh, in the play it is said that it is divine intervention to ignore uh, which is ignored by dr Faustus. this is a sign that a uh, divine power um Asking Dr. Faustus to avoid this pact, but he signs it with his blood because now blood was again normalized with the help of burning coal, which was brought by Mephistopheles, the devil, the servant devil of Lucifer. Okay, now here, now he is bound into the pact. Okay, Mephistopheles is with Dr. Faustus. Now, Dr. Faustus avoids going to university and uh, lecturers, other colleagues becomes concerned about him that why he is not appearing in the university. Okay, and they come to his home to see whether what is the matter, but they fail to understand and uh, his they ask his servant and servant initially denies 
okay but later on he tells everything to those people those people now dr fosters and mephistopheles they are enjoying company okay dr fosters asks many questions related to so many things and mephistopheles is not uh, willing to answer him he avoids giving importance to all the questions okay all the questions therefore dr fosters finds mephistopheles untrustworthy and there was another incident also because of which we can say mephistopheles was untrustworthy it is because mephistopheles when uh, dr fosters asked the question of universe who created universe then mephistopheles denied to give answer because he did not want to utter god's name from his mouth okay so this uh, was supposed to be understood by dr fosters but he avoids okay he ignores blatantly in between dr fosters wants to give up magic but bad angel stops him in between dr fosters realizes that maybe he is doing wrong with uh, he is doing something which is morally not upright but bad angel appears and uh, she uh, stops dr fosters doing so okay then we see Lucifer himself appears with another devil Beelzebub okay Beelzebub and Mephistopheles and he frightens Dr Fosters about the pact he says that he should abide by the pact otherwise he will make his life hell okay Lucifer brings seven deadly sins in front of him it was to entertain him and it was um god's warning also which dr fosters ignores okay dr fosters ignores this uh, sign that if he will continue being with lucifer then he is also going to commit seven deadly sins but he totally ignores okay after his incident after this incident he gains great fame and power after the incident means after getting the power from devil okay after conjure, uh, conjure he gets power and that power is utilized in a wrong way okay uh, in order to gain in order to get name and fame he utilized this power not to benefit people all right so it was not worthy okay the powers were not worthy at all after that we see he uses temporary powers for practical jokes and frivolous demonstrations to the nobility he plays prank with horsemen he plays prank with king okay queen and other people but there was no particular purpose a strong purpose uh, of uh, for after getting this power okay then we see at last he realizes his follies and gives a lecture on how he is damned he repents dr fosters after enjoying his life with this power okay he wants everything of the world he wants he wanted to roam around he goes with mephistopheles he talks about courts he goes to courts places people he goes everywhere but the purpose was zero okay he could not learn anything he could not impart his learned thing as well all right at last he realizes his follies and he wants to repent but it was too late on the 11th hour mephistopheles comes to collect foster's soul and he was taken to hell dr foster begs for mercy but those devils did not turn a deaf ear towards his plea okay eventually because of his temporary power and pleasure dr foster's a learned man a scholar a resourceful person dies okay without giving anything to the world so this is the end of the play friends and here you must have noticed that it is a morality play we get a moral lesson from this uh, literary work of christopher marlow okay so we will end this play here we will meet in our next video till then take care bye bye